looking to make your Facebook Lives look a little more professional, then you're going to want to stick around for today's episode of Ed Talk TV. Let's jump into it. Hey, welcome to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I'm your host, Ed Troxel, Facebook Live producer. And what that means is I help you, the small business owner, connect more here online with your audience through live broadcasting, just like we're doing right now. So if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Be sure to say hello right down there. I see you, Elliot. Carla, nice to see you both here. Uh, don't be shy, by the way. Even if you watch the replay, it's super important for you to connect with me in the comments as well as with others. So do you want to learn how to make your Facebook Lives or any live broadcasting a little bit more professional looking without having to go get expensive equipment and do a ton of research on YouTube? Let me know right there, right, right, right there. So uh, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, before we jump into it, I wanna mention the reason why I'm bringing this up because this question came up on Facebook yesterday where someone was asking about uh, their equipment. They, they said, you know, I've got the, the iPhone 11. I, I have the DSLR camera. I, I have all of the tech pieces. But for some reason, my videos just don't seem professional. They seem really uh, homemade. And, and that's not a bad thing, depending on your business and, and what you're trying to promote, uh, especially when you do a live broadcast. Going live is uh, uh, so different than having a pre-recorded video for many reasons. We won't get into them all today, but uh, if you want to see an episode on that, we can talk about that. But really, live video is more of that real, real raw moments. But that doesn't mean that your videos have to look really grainy, dark, and just you know, dingy like 1980s, you know, VCR black tapes, right? Anybody remember those? Remember those? Yeah. Uh, so today I wanted to show you how you can make your videos look a little bit more professional without having to add a whole bunch of extras to your, your devices, to your plate, to all of that. Now, it's going to be a little tricky on my end only because I, am, I have really good light where I'm at. So as you can see right now, this lighting is all natural. I actually have two windows side by side that have blinds. One is somewhat closed, the other one is fully open. Now watch what happens when I open up both. Do you see how that gets a lot? So I have to stand back. If I stand too close, I get too washed out. Uh, I should also mention that I'm going live from my desktop, from my computer, and I have a webcam, a $20 webcam by the way, that actually does really good when it's low light, not there yet, but I just wanted to mention that. Uh, and then we'll also be showing you from iPhone, uh, the iPhone 7 Plus. It's again, not the latest and greatest, it it's works. So right now you can see that the lighting's pretty darn good and that's from natural light. But when I step in closer, it gets a little washed out. If I was wearing a white shirt, I'd be completely washed out. So this is not really gonna be that great. So you wanna make sure that whatever uh, camera you're using, that you play with your stance. See what happens when you get closer and when you move further away, just to see how the camera reacts. Then you wanna play with your light sources. So for me, I have my blinds. So I'm gonna close only one, and look at, look at how it got dark all of a sudden, right? Again, if we play with the closer and the further away, not a whole lot changes there. And that's only with one blind closed. And let me close the other one. So now it's evened out a little bit. It actually got a little brighter, even though I have both of the blinds closed. That's because this $20 webcam I have picks up whatever light it can and adjust. And, and it's not bad, right? So again, play with it. Then I'm gonna close, I have blackout curtains. I'm gonna close those, so bear with me. So it's still daytime. This is what we're talking about, right? 
If I were to stay here, look how grainy that looks and dark. That's not going to be good for your videos. Uh, you know, as much as possible, you want to get as the light. Even when I come up close with this $20 webcam, there's not a whole lot of light. The light that I'm getting is coming off of my screen. But when I start to open things up, now we're looking a little better. There's still quite a bit of shadow here. So if we move the other one, okay, now we're getting there. And then we we'll just play with our light source. That's only with one open, one blind. Here's a little bit more. Let's go back to what we had. So same thing with whatever, wherever you're at, you want to play with the light, the lighting. If you are doing your lives at night, so you don't have the natural light, then what you're going to need to do is play with whatever overhead or ring light that you have available, because that is what's going to give you that pop, that more professional look uh, without having that dark, dingy, grainy 1980s uh, VHS tape look. Uh, really, that's all you have to do to add that pop to your videos. You don't have to get anything crazy, fancy, you know, $100 light kit, all of that. I mean, if you need it, great. But if you don't, then don't worry about it. Um, and when you, I'm going to just show you my screen here. You can see that it's a little different when I use my phone. I have the phone plugged in so I can share my screen with you. Um, it will look a little different and it's gonna be a little harder if I flip these blinds, so bear with me. And if I close, see how it got a little bit, but my camera can adjust depending on where it's at. And for you, depending on what time of day, see it got a little, darker, but because I have light coming off of my computer and my monitor, it's reflecting. So it's giving me a little bit of more of a boost versus the grainy look that I can see on my device. You guys are seeing it a little bit cleaner because there's uh, a bounce of light there and here. <laughs> so I'm going to take this one off because it gets a little confusing when you look at it. Um, but that's how you can make your videos look a little bit more professional without really adding any extra equipment. Uh, and then if you're outside, perfect. Find a shady spot and see what works and what doesn't. Because you don't want to, again, you don't want to be too far into the, I don't have the blinds there, but you don't want to be so far into the um, sunlight that you're looking like this, because it's not going to look good on camera. So you want to make sure that whatever you're seeing with your device that that looks decent enough. And the more light in general, the better. Um, but if you're in direct sunlight, try to find a shady spot so that way you can move around and see the angles. Also, try moving your camera up. Not so much down. I wanted to say a little bit down. Sometimes you might have to go a little bit down, but don't have your camera too far down because what happens is if you put your camera too far down, let's see if I can just. Well, it's not really a good one, but if you, because I'm using the webcam, but if you adjust your camera, let me do it on the phone. Give me one second. So if I do this and I adjust my camera, you're not really, see if we go a little higher, that's better. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to do this because then this looks like we're talking down to people and then you're getting, you know, whatever chins that you don't want and it's just not a good angle. So really make sure that you are playing around with your camera if you're using the phone or if you have a webcam, just move it to a certain angle to make sure that you can get the right angle, but also the right lighting. And when you do that, it will pop. Marilyn says, shade is your friend when you are outside. Yes, exactly. Uh, especially when you are outside near something bright, meaning like a, a green plant. If you go, uh, you know, outside and there's a nice big tree and it's green and then you have the green, green grass and you're in the shade there, it just really pops. Just like when you take a photo, it can really pop. So, you know, see, look around and see what works in your uh, space that you have, whether it's inside or outside, and then just play with your lighting before you go live to just make sure that it, it pops a little bit more because you don't want to have that, that dark, gringy look for the most part, uh, because uh, people want to see you and, and they want to tune into something that looks clean 
and, and is there. It doesn't have to be all scripted because, again, this is live broadcasting, but you want to at least have some decent lighting, and that is what's going to make your videos pop. So I hope that this was helpful. If you need anything, please send me a message here on Facebook uh, and reach out, and I'll point you in the right direction. And until next week, have a wonderful week. Stay safe out there. Keep washing those hands. And we will see you next Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you have not followed the page or subscribed on YouTube, be sure to do so. All right, guys. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you later. Take care.